So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you want to find background intelligent transfer service. Double click on it. Make the startup type disabled and then click on stop, which will now make the service status stopped. And then click on okay. Now you wanna click on W on your keyboard. We're gonna find Windows Update. You wanna scroll down to so find Windows Update, double click on it, and then do the same thing. Startup type, disabled, and then click on stop, which will now make the service status stopped, and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in File Explorer Options. Click on it, and now once you're on this, you wanna click on the View tab, and now you wanna select Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. You wanna tick this box right here, and then click on OK. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to Search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. And then once you're on this, on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down, and then click on this PC. Now you want to find the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. Double click on it. If you have these two folders, dollar sign Windows BT and dollar sign Windows WS, you wanna delete both of these. So just highlight both of them and then click on delete. And then once you delete both those folders, for the next step, you wanna click on Windows. And now we're gonna scroll down until we find software distribution. We're gonna scroll down until we find software distribution. Double click on this. And then once we're in this folder, we're gonna delete everything here. So you wanna do Control A on your keyboard and then click on delete. If you get this, you wanna tick the box, do this for current items and then click on continue. Wait for this to load. And now everything in this folder should be deleted. However, if some stuff remain, that's okay. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And now once you're on this, we're just gonna reverse what we did earlier. So now you wanna double click on background intelligent transfer service, make the startup type automatic, click on okay, double click on it again, and then click on start, which will now make the service status running. And now once it's running, you wanna click on okay. And now we're gonna click on W on our keyboard. We're gonna find Windows Update. Scroll down, double click on Windows Update, and then do the same thing. Startup type, automatic, and then click on OK. Double click on it again, and then click on Start, which will now make the service status running, and then click on OK. And now for the last step, you just wanna restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.